Hello friends, today one of the most uh, another important method we will discuss about the flow measurement by the chemical method. Okay, so why will you use the chemical method? So chemical method is used where you don't have the or you don't have access to the current meter or float method or any other method. In this condition, the one of the simplest and cheap method and your chemical method. In chemical method, nothing but the known concentration of your solution like your salt, dye or any other radioactive materials we can introduce into a stream okay from section 1 to section 2 so uh, and the our mixture concentration we can measure so let us see this is your river okay, this chemical method also called your dilution method these are the two types one is your continuous injection method or constant method second thing is your sudden injection okay Sudden injection method. So let us see the one first one is the continuous injection method. In continuous injection method, we select a stream. This is the stream. Okay. Now this is stream. Here, let us see the Q. Q of your water flowing, initial water flowing into the stream. You are initial water flowing stream that is in upstream. This is your downstream. And you are getting the Q out. The time T1, at the time T1, you add it. Okay. You added, added all Q amount of solution with concentration, with known concentration of C1, one stream. Okay, the initial concentration of the stream, initial concentration of the stream is C0. That is C0. Okay, now after traveling certain time, a downstream you are measuring mixed concentration here you are measuring the mixed concentration that is C1 C2 so concentration that is C0 and C1 so can we say that C2 this is the final concentration means you are measuring the that is your C2 okay so now suppose in Q water is flowing initially and you added small q so output is your q plus what you are added this one suppose for example in stream there is a thousand liters of water flowing per second in stream you added this is q this added you added small q that is 10 liters so what is the output here that is simply thousand plus 10 Okay, now I did here. Okay, and the concentration is C2. Okay, based on the continuity equation, we can say that the amount of uh, inflow equals the amount of outflow. From that comes uh, that solution, what I am doing? Q, the initial concentration is C0, and whatever you added, that is Q, and C1 equals the C2 small q okay now i am simplifying this equation q minus q c1 so now i am simplifying the equation c0 c2 here to minus c1 now q equals to c2 minus c1 by c2 minus c1 by the c0 minus c2 into q so this is your final equation that is the volume of water flowing measure uh, through this section is Q is equal to C2 minus final concentration minus initial concentration which you added and the stream concentration, initial stream concentration, final concentration by the what is the water you added. Okay, with this equation the we can find the volume of discharge. And similarly in the ARS, in the ARS 2016, the find the number of the well locations. Okay, by using the, uh, this formula they asked, here we can find the N, so C equals to, same formula, the C2 minus C1 by the C0 minus C2 into Q, here, this is the very N, number of the wells. So N, so where the number of locations, this is N is the number of locations, simply the N we want to find that they will give, they have given the Q and uh, concentration you added, and the initial and final concentration or that is mixture concentration and ask the 
find the number of wells. So simple Q is equal to N into this form. Okay, this is your simply continuous method in injection method in sudden injection method. Okay, simply here the water at sudden water at sudden and constant is not been measured. But in continuous method, the fluid are added here till this particle, this concentration has reached downstream. Till this concentration or this mixed concentration reached it downstream. At that time, up to that, the country, uh, fluid added. But in sudden injection method, the only added at one time, only suddenly added. That why, that's why the concentration may grow increase finally in the river first is the emission when you add it then it is ready again like this again so this is your time where you added okay now this is the time to find time okay from this equation we will measure the volume q equals integration that is volume of water c1 minus integration time t1 dot t2 c2 minus c1 into dt so this is the formula we can measure the uh, volume of water flow into the particular section in the by using the injection uh, sudden injection method okay now the different types of the uh, chemicals are used that's the radioactive methods and your simple your uh, salts or any type okay for this the channel should be straight okay we cannot measure the in the uh, cross sections okay and 